Hi there, it's Sandy and today we're making a chicken wire swan. I've broken it down into two parts for you. We're going to do the body first in this tutorial and then we're going to do the neck and the head and there's a third tutorial to make the beak which is actually the Christmas tree tutorial that's already been posted for a while ago. So I'm going to put all the links for these down below. If you want to know when the neck tutorial gets posted then if you hit subscribe and the notifications YouTube will let you know when that comes up. When you've finished your sculpture, I do recommend you keep them out of reach of children and pets because there are sharp bits and pieces of wire that can still be pointing out no matter how careful you are. So I would keep them out of reach of children and pets. This tutorial is going to break down into tools and materials first and then we're going to go into the making process. So, let's go. Here's what you're going to need in the tools and materials department. A pair of gloves with leather palms on them. If you can get leather backs all the better because you will get stabbed, I know I do. So leather palms absolutely essential and wear those when you're working with the chicken wire. You're going to need a pair of side cutters. These are heavy duty DIY ones. Uh, these are for just small amounts of cutting when you're making the sculpture. I've got a pair of flat nose pliers. Here they're flat nosed at the end. Uh, chain nose will do just as well, that's fine. You just need a pair of pliers to be able to move the chicken wire around. For doing lots of cutting, when you're cutting the chicken wire off the sheet, this is a pair of snips and these will help you to do large amounts of, of cuts down the, the line of the chicken wire. Um, and you can use them sort of when you're sculpting but they're just a bit bigger to handle, that's all. So you need a pair of those or you can do it with, with just these, it just takes a bit longer. So there's your cutters, absolutely essential pair of safety glasses, these are over glasses and I'm just going to put these straight on right now because they need to be worn, there we go. And your final little piece of uh, equipment is, I've already got mine on, is it something canvas, I wear a canvas apron when I'm working because it doesn't catch um, woolens and things like that and ruin your clothes while you're doing it, so it's a bit of protection on you. Then your materials. Now for the beak of the swan, you're going to need a roll of 1.2 galvanised steel wire. Uh, you might get away with a 1mm one as well if you can't find the 1.2, no problem. Then you need some chicken wire. So you need two pieces of chicken wire. This is the body. Now I'm going to uh, flash up a photo that will show you how to measure this. It needs to be... 36 centimetres by 22.5 centimetres. The 36 goes round here and the 22.5 goes down the length so that it rolls up into a longer cylinder. Just going to flash the photo up now so you can come back to it when you're doing your measurements. Okay, so that's for the body. Um, once you've got that piece, you then need the neck piece. So you only need two pieces of chicken wire. Here's the other. It's too long to get in the shot. Now again, I'm just going to flash a photograph up so you can come back to it when you're doing your measurements to see how to do it. Okay, so you want 50, woo, 57 down the length of it and you want your 21 round the circle when you take it off the roll. Okay. And that is it. That is all you need, nothing else, and you'll be able to make the swan. So let's go. So you want to get your equipment around you. You want your pliers, and you're going to want your cutters. You've already got your glasses on to protect you. And we need to take a look at, we need to make a seam. So you've already got the tube form in here. Um, and it is actually still open and you want to overlap these by about one hexagon so you want to overlap by one hexagon there and then we want to start wrapping the individual wires and I'm going to give you a quick close-up of what I mean by overlapping the hexagons okay so you can come back to that if you need to when you're making and then you need to start wrapping the wires together so that they, they form a, a seam up the length of the body. Now this is uh, very similar 
to the B video for anybody who's seen the B video. If you haven't seen it, uh, I'll link to it below so you can go and have a look. But this is the same as uh, the body for the B. Right, let's start. So what you want to do is, I think you can see here, there's some ends left off when you cut it. And what you want to do is to wrap those ends around the other wire on this side. So I'm going to start lining up one end. It's easy if you can get the, the shape stable first. And I'm going to take this piece here, there, and I'm going to put it, it doesn't matter, it's got little bits hanging everywhere, I'm going to put it down under the other side of the, the sheet and bring it back up. And I'm just going to leave it there for now. Be careful because it, it will bite. Actually, I'll put it down inside because uh, anything that's left sticking up will, will attack you. So you can see now that this is starting to, to be attached at this end. Then this wire is going to come up and over and down the other side so that that's attached there. So we've now got something that's, that's attached at one end. Then I'm going to swing it round and make sure these are all lined up at this end. Stick my finger through to make sure they are. And then I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to take this wire up and over the other wire like that. And then I've got a big wire here I can do the same thing with. Like that. Tuck that in. Bring that down so it's not sticking up so much. Into the way. And again, we've got that attached there. Now, yes, the middle ones aren't attached at all yet, but we can work on those. So what I'm going to do is carry on down so I'm going to take the first little bit of wire here and I'm going to push it down, under and up, through like that, bend it over and then there we go. So that needs to be done for the entire length Get that out of the way. But the entire length for each one of these, <coughs> excuse me, for each one of these ends here, we want to attach it to the one underneath. And also, you'll see you've got some loose wires here from the from this sheet coming underneath. So just bring those up, bring them over, and push them down. All the time trying to, to just maintain that overlap sometimes it can go a bit a bit awry. Straighten that up. There we go. I'm just doing it roughly for now. Um, and then what you do at the end is you, you go over your, your sculpture and, and tie down all your, your loose ends and trim your, your bits that are sticking out. So that needs to be done for the length of the seam and I'm going to go quiet and just speed this up so that you can see it a bit faster.
Okay, so I've gone up the length of it. You did, if you notice, you'll see me going sort of not one by one, but occasionally I'll, I'll go further up into the middle. That's just to anchor the wire in place. It's not exactly, these are better, these are lined up, these aren't exactly lined up, but that's okay. Um, this is going to be on the bottom of the swan, so it shouldn't be quite as uh, as open to view as some of the other parts will be. Right, once you've got all your seam done, your seam will then go onto the bottom, and we're going to start forming the the bottom of the the swan. And there's always a little bit of a. a um, point at the end of a, a swan's bottom where the, the feathers come up and, and make a nice little de delicate point. So to form that we're going to have to bring these two edges together. So you want the seam on the bottom, mind your fingers, and then hold it in the middle and pinch it together so that you've got some overlap well, no, you don't want overlap, you want, you want pieces together. The overlap you want is on the wires. So think of one of your wires in the middle, it needs to be round about the halfway mark, and match it up and attach it on the other side, there. So we've pinched it in the middle, seam on the bottom, so the seam's here, and this is gonna be the point at the top. So for the minute we don't want to, we'll leave this bit open so this bit at the top here, we'll leave this open and we'll tie up the seam from the halfway mark to about here so about one, one and a half hexagons down and then for this end we're going to trim it off and seal it up so that we can get the bottom curve of the uh, swan as it comes round underneath the body. So leave about a, a, a hexagon and a half open at the top, pinch it together, and then similar sort of thing, just, just wrap. You can always trim if, you, if it's not, it'll always line up differently for every piece of, of chicken wire. So you can just trim if you need to. This one's already on. And I can always just fold that over. So I've, I've attached halfway to about one half hexagon from here and then I'm going to have a look at the bottom. Okay, so what you want to do is go about two to three hexagons in. I'm looking at this one, I'm going to go two hexagons in and then I'm going to cut in a line from that midpoint to the two hexagons. So I'm just going to trim off this. I'm just going to I'm going to leave some long wires here. I'm going to leave some long wires here um, as it comes in and take out those. I'm going to take this bit off so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to come underneath. It takes a bit more to cut through where you've you've put the seam in. Turn my cutters over so I can get closer to there. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. And I'm going to get there. So you can see now we're starting to get this this curve coming in. So once you've cut the corner off, we can stick that out of the way. Then again, squeeze it in like that. And you can start folding the wires underneath to attach the two sides together. So one there, this one can come up and over. Like that, tuck that in. Then we've got push these together, go under, and then we can come out like that. And this one can go in. Just 
just going to curl this up because it's a little excessive. I'm just going to fold this up like that. Fold it in and then this wire can come up and go there. Right, so there we go. We've got everything sealed up, a few sticking out. I'm going to fold these sticky out wires in. This one's, yeah, we'll see where that goes. I'll curl these in for now just to tidy them up. Like that. Right, now we need to shape this out a bit so it's less pointed, like that, less pointed and more round like a swan. So I'm going to stick my hand down the inside. And I'm just going to open out, press it against my hand. Now don't, don't do anything with the tip yet. I'm going to press it in my hand. And where you've got a point here, you can just curl that up, push it in. That's it. Like that. Now you can give it a hand with, with the pliers and pull things out as well. There. Just round it out so that you've got much more of a rounded bit. So this pointy bit here is gone now and you've just got a little bit left here which is a, a bit loose. So you want to form this into a point the idea is we'll curl that round and we'll curl that round like that and hook those over in different places. I'm just going to tuck that one under and then in some gentle manipulation can just form it into a bit of a point. If it's got a loose wire at the top you might want to tuck that in. And there we are. If you need to do a bit more shaping that's fine. And there we have it. So you've got a little point at the front. You can carry on tidying up just to make sure loose wires are tucked away and do that when you're ready round it all out and there you've got a nice profile of a of a smooth bum with a little well, it doesn't want to go straight up I think I might Curve it that way a little. So to curl it out. There we go. So you've got your little little feathers at the end and a nice rounded edge around here to uh, to make the the shape of the the swan's bottom. So that is the body section. That's all you need to do for this piece. We'll move on to the the neck piece in the next tutorial. If you want a head start on the next tutorial, then if you check out in the description below, there is a link to a wire Christmas tree tutorial, which is a bit strange, but the little spiral Christmas trees are actually perfect for making the, the beak of the swan. So if you want a head start, before we get to the tutorial for the neck, the neck and the head, have a look at the Christmas tree tutorial and make one of those of you want a 3.5 um, centimetre high Christmas tree and get that ready and you can then move on to the neck and head tutorial. If you like this tutorial give us a thumbs up down below. If you want notifications about the next tutorial when the head and the, the neck comes out then click subscribe and the bell next to it 
and you will get notified by YouTube that it's been posted. And if there's anything you want me to make, um, this tutorial is a result of somebody saying, could I make a swan tutorial? If there's anything you want me to make, you could see your item being made up here on the, the video. Just leave me some, some feedback down below and I'll have a look at it. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one when we get to do the head and the neck.